Welcome back to OG Alert. I'm your host, X in a Box. Let's get right into the news. Today we're going to start off by talking about something that we may be seeing more of in the future. Last week, we talked about what happened to Cat. The name was supposed to become available, but it got deleted from the account's history and somebody else claimed the name. Well, four hours after the last episode was uploaded, the same thing happened to Harm. A couple months ago, Harm was supposed to be sniped by Cheerful Ninja onto a 2011 cape account, but Goldline sniped it onto an SFA instead. About a month ago, it got pulled and name changed by the original owner. Just like we saw with Cat, before Harm was available to the public, someone got it removed from the name history, causing it to instantly become available. Even more interesting, the person who claimed it, by hand, was the original person who had purchased the snipe through Cheerful Ninja. He even put it on the same 2011 cape account he initially wanted it on. Speaking of things that happened to Cat, just the other day, Cat was reverted back to the original account it was on, and the name history was removed. This was done by Joshua, the same person who got it removed from the account in the first place. The only thing that is different now is that the C is lowercase. Here is last week's screenshot of the original cat after the name had been removed from the account. And here's a screenshot I took today of the same account showing that the name is back and the name history is gone. As for the person who had gotten cat after it was removed from the original account, the name is gone from the history and the only records of it ever happening are in screenshots. One really cool thing that happened a week ago was that the Cape Community Discord held the world record cape line. 12 different capes in a single screenshot. We have Julian Clark, Billy K, Scrolls, Cobalt, Mojira Moderator, Translator, Realms Map Maker, and all five Minecon capes. Also, I talked about Joey a while ago, that account that had some capes and then we thought the unmigrated owner pulled it back or whatever. It turns out it wasn't actually pulled by the original owner, it was just Joey trolling us. Nice skin, bro. Today we have some of the saddest news I have ever heard. There was a Mojang lock wave in which tons of really nice accounts were locked. I would tell you about it myself, but who better to tell you than the people who actually own the accounts when they got locked? Fraud and Andre. So uh, the first account in the wave is, uh, is NRP123, you guys wanna say something about that one we owned it a couple of times i don't know and then like it got locked and like the way with all the other accounts mm -hmm. <laughs> how do you tell you andre like what is there to say we've okay. owned it like twice and then uh got locked on the side man okay so then steve is the next one that just like got locked on us there's like not much to say yeah well what happened is i got it unlocked in april with gorman and then um me and gorman sold it to bird and then it got locked and andre got it unlocked for him and then we bought it from Bird, like after it got unlocked, like after a little bit of them having it. And then mm -hmm. it got locked on us like a week after we bought it, just because of the wave. So then the next one is red. Yeah. Got locked on the person Gavin sold to, nothing mm -hmm. like to say. I sold to him months ago same and it just got pink. locked. Yeah, same thing with Pink, me and Misfit sold it to, what's his name, Debug, and it got locked. And then Julian Clark. <clears throat> me and Gavin got it like, uh, it's been like a month, hasn't it? Yeah, because I, I made an OG alert about Julian Clark being spotted on a server, and that was just you guys. Oh, uh -huh, that was us. We uh -huh. remember you were in a call. And yeah. We were on that server, Aloha.gg. <laughs> yeah. Um, remember I messed around with it? It was like yep. when we first got it, it was good. Yep. Uh, we sold it and like we bought it back. And yeah. then we sold it like instantly to the person we sold it in RP. Yeah, in RP and Julian Clark were a bundle deal for like 0 0.6 or 7. And then JH. JH, there's not really a story. My friend got it like last year. And like he got from like support last year and he held it for like a long time because it's his initials and then he sold it to me and then i sold it like right before the lock wave and it got locked like instantly oh yeah that's that was the, the next one i was gonna say is yeah so crown of the snowball and it was but you said you sold it to the same person as jh or what no, no crown no. of the snowball was like a shared account between me and kite okay. and then like it just got locked like honestly i basically gave it to him because i hadn't even played on it since like what andre the week since i got like, it you, yeah the week you got it and, like he never like tried yeah. to it. like it was obvious he was trying to keep it it was like yeah. funny, but like i don't think he cared mm -hmm. so <clears> then uh after after corona there's ea uh, ea like me and glenn sold that to the guy that owns ad and there's no really story behind it we just like got it unlocked sold it to that guy and, and then it got, got locked like, after like month and then strafe I didn't realize Strafe was in here. That one, like, that one's like the least, like, the most weird that one because like, it has like, no reason to get logged. Pi and Strafe are the same thing. And then Atmaz. Uh, it was like pulled by the OG owner and then like locked on them. Oh, wow. Yeah, because like the OG owner pulled it a day before the wave or something. I don't even know mm -hmm. what happened, but he got locked because the like, OG super, owner super, pulled yeah. it like right before the lock wave. It was really stupid. So then the final one in this list, which really surprised me because I actually even talked about it earlier in the video, Cat. 
That one surprised me too. I like I'm so surprised they got reverted and like instantly locked. They like teased them. Mm-hmm. That's so weird. So owner of cat changed the name uh, for because whatever Velma reason. told him he has like no balls. Then while it was dropping, Joshua impersonated Cat without any info, got Cat removed from the history. Some random person in the uh, Cape community Discord claimed it. Then mm-hmm. Joshua was like talking to Mojang for a while, got it reverted, and then like the next day it got locked. Yeah, it was that's like, dumb. so stupid. At least he has like the name of MC forever, so like it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean you can't play on the account though. Bro, I mean, the MMC is all that matters. Like, yeah. Steve getting locked, I don't even care that much because, like, we have the name MC, but, like, mm-hmm. let's just say we gave someone access, they claimed the name MC, I would be, like, fuming about the lock. Uh-huh. Well, Dumbo, I think yeah. that that's all That's all the accounts, so... Mm, that's all of them, yeah. Thanks Unless for... there's more. No, yeah, I guess if, if there are more, we'll talk about it. But that's there's, like, I'm... more, but it's, like... I don't even know. Right. Well, yeah. It sucks. That's yeah, like really, really, yeah. really sad and every good account blocked yeah yeah there's like no good accounts left so it's like sad well yeah thanks for coming on guys um no problem no problem happy to have you now let's get into last week's names last week we looked at lies thief under and office Lies was sniped by Cheerful Ninja, Thief was sniped by Tempest, allegedly from his phone, Under was sniped by Cheerful, and they left a friendly little message for Tempest. Office was also sniped by Cheerful, and they thought I would skip it because of my alleged bias. Joke's on you guys, because I'd like to congratulate you on dominating the sniping market, just like you used to. Our underrated name, Unboxing, which now is sitting at over 1300 searches, was sniped by Cheerful, a very common theme these past two weeks. I'm also going to add in a few more names here because I'm so late on OG Alert that I missed some upcoming names this past week or so. Cheerful Ninja sniped Given, Eastern, congrats Fafi, and Threat. Okay, now for upcoming names. We have Travis Scott dropping on September 2nd, which to me doesn't look like a transfer. I honestly hope the original owner reclaims it because it's only ever been on that one account and I really like names that haven't been passed around very much. Thunderbolt drops on the 4th, which really makes me sad because that account was so clean. I can't wait to see who gets it next week. Now let's get to the real meat of the video. Underrated name of the week. This week's underrated name is Symbiosis. It only has 11 searches per month for some reason, despite being a top tier name. Before I move on to community screenshots, I wanna take a moment to let you know that my server, Pocket Economy, has now officially released as of this morning. The IP is xinabox.us and you can join with any version from 1.7 all the way through 1.16.2. It's a survival economy server with all custom builds that my friends made. We even built a bunch of custom floating islands that have loot on them, and they randomly generate in the wilderness. You can rent a plot in the custom built mall to create a shop and sell things to other players, or maybe you just want to do quests around the server to get custom items. So much work has been put into this server, and I think it turned out really well. So come check it out and secure a low player number. The IP will also be in the description. I will definitely be hanging out on the server a lot. Okay, thanks for listening. Now for this week's community screenshots. So our first screenshot for today was sent by Kobe. It's just a screenshot of a bunch of Minecon capes on Blockmania. Now on the right side here, we have Shane and Fang. The rest, just some randoms, especially that weird 2013 on the left. Our next one was sent in by Gorman. Kind of hard to see because of the weird texture pack, but K underscore, NRP123, and Steve. Our next one was also sent in by Gorman, and it's just he and Blue. Our next one was sent by Lil Coffin, and he says it's from October of 2017. It's a screenshot of Fox and Space. Pretty legendary, if you ask me. Our next one was sent by Lil Stimpy, and this is kind of a squad picture, I guess. You have Adopt, Lost, X underscore, Recruit, PC, Dawn, Disable, and Coyote. Some really nice accounts in there. This one was sent by Reaper, and it also features Disable from the last screenshot, as well as if we zoom in, you can see that uh, 911 is there too. Uh, This one was sent by Major. It's just a picture of Smidge and Smidge on Mind Club. 
pretty cool, and also he used shaders, which I love. I think it makes the screenshot look a lot better. And our final screenshot of the day is a picture of Wag and Wan. <laughs> pretty cool. Thanks for the screenshots, you guys. As always, you can send them in my Discord. I'm going to get to them all eventually. There's just a lot, so I'm going, I'm going in chronological order here. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. OG Alert Nation, now over 7,870 subscribers.